Well, assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to Casper video update today. So, uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe and uh, if you need some future notifications as you, as you might never get this channel again. So, Casper. Uh, Casper has been the coin that a lot of people think that it's the holy grail for profit taking. And, uh, it, you know, a lot of audience uh, or the traders out there recognize this coin because of this move that happened back some few uh, months ago. And ever since then, we've been in a downtrend. I've talked about Casper trying to move down. Uh, I've given you an idea that you do have this head and shoulder printing out. We met the head and shoulder technical target. It was met. <clears throat> and uh, ever since, it has been just a sideways journey until we didn't start to pick it up again and we start to move to the upside. And right now, currently, we're sitting at nearly uh, the all-time high once again. So the question is, um, are we going to be moving up to a technical target here? which is up to 57856 and that's going to be almost like 45% move up or 40% move up and this technical target it actually comes in for from the following and I'm going to go into the daily time frame and if you look at the daily time frame you have this whole huge pattern going on right over there and it seems like it's time you you meet this technical target to the upside okay so if you take that top to that bottom right there you're looking for this uh, move up there now the question is is that on the weekly can we have a little bit of a problem and that is if things get worse you might end up having a huge double top as well but if you end up taking this high and you back test this high successfully you have good chances of actually moving up to that technical target right over there for Casper, and that looks pretty pretty decent to me okay uh, one good thing is that you do have this one hammer which is a bearish candle that has been invalidated on the weekly but you still have four days to close this candle so it's a little bit early to say if this bearish candle has been invalidated or not but i do want to see in the next four days you come up here you take this all-time high right there when you do that, you come and push down for the retest and you backtest the retest and you start to push to the upside once again. One little bit of a problem that I still have some doubts on is the following. Now that you're moving to the upside, if I show you the RSI, unfortunately the RSI does show that there's a, there's a bearish divergence printing out. So you're moving up like this, but you do have the divergence here. The RSI momentum says that. Uh, you are moving down and especially you're moving down at a particular resistance. So if I do show you this right over here, that's where the resistance really is. So if you look at it, you do have a huge potential of having this one touch, second touch, and this one being a very big double top on a higher time frame. And you can expect something like this to happen to the downside, especially uh, if I turn on the logarithmic scale here, you can see that it's probably probably possible to say that you can have a double top huge double top and still have a threat to go down like this lose this and go even more to the downside finger cross is not guaranteed um, as far as I'm concerned we we can actually you know continue up and break like this and go to, even to the upside once again so that's it for this uh, very quick update on Casper. Uh, I'm going to see you the next one hello office